gorgeous looks, stellar design and amazing display. It comes with 4GB inbuilt storage so you can save music on it. Pair your favorite Bluetooth earphones to the watch itself. AMOLED display with always on mode makes this a complete package. Hi there, here is the newly launched Firebolt Invincible Plus. A smartwatch that on paper has almost everything that you could ask for. AMOLED display with super slim bezels, Bluetooth calling, internal storage to save music, connect Bluetooth earphones to the watch itself, health sensors and more. The starting price of this watch is just 3499 which seems too good to be true. We have two units with us, silver and black. We'll unbox both and have a closer look so you can decide if you should buy the Invincible Plus or not. Let's begin. So here is the retail packaging of the Firebolt Invincible Plus. The one on the left comes with a silver metal strap, the one on the right comes with a black metal strap. Now if you look closely on the side, you can see some of its key features mentioned here. We'll cover all in detail. Some more features here, QR code for the companion app and it comes with an MRP of 21,000. Wow. So let's quickly open it up. Right on the top is the user manual. Then here's the watch itself. This is the silver one. The usual coupons that we get with Firebolt smartwatches an extra silicon strap and finally the pogo pin charging cable that magnetically aligns and attaches to the watch charging terminals. Let's have a look at the other one though we know it's going to have the exact same contents still worth checking out. Right on the top is the user manual, the watch itself with the black metal strap, wow this looks so cool, the exact same coupons, a black silicon strap with the black watch and of course the same pogo pin charging cable. So this cable not only charges the device but also assists it to transfer music to the watch. Kind of multifunctional. Alright, let's have a closer look at the watch. Now obviously the one on the left is one with the silver strap, the one on the right is with the black strap. If you look carefully, there is kind of a plastic film on the straps which basically prevents the straps from getting scratched in transit. So make sure you remove them first. And there you go, we removed the plastic. Check the watches out now. Wow, they look so nice. We'll start with the silver one and we'll get rid of the screen protector. Oh my my, wow, this looks like a, such a premium smartwatch. If you look on this side, it's got this really nice metal finish and of course this is made of metal as well doesn't attract any fingerprint or smudges if you look on the other side there are three buttons and look at the way the buttons are designed they look so nice and look like a premium smartwatch the center button of course comes with a crown which means it'll help you during navigation nice stainless steel bands as well very nice here at the back you can see the fireball branding press this to open the loop the back is made of plastic and it houses the heart rate sensor, s sensor here and the charging terminals up here. I'm actually liking that the back is made of plastic because it compensates for the weight of the steel on this watch, which makes the watch not too heavy, which is really, really good. Then here at the bottom is the speaker. I'm sure you can see it here. This is going to be helpful for phone calls and to listen to music. And here is the microphone. By the way, these bands can also be replaced with the silicon bands that they've provided. So in case you want to use it for your gym, for your swim or your other workouts, you can replace these steel bands with the silicon ones, which is really, really cool. So let's quickly have a look at the black one as well. Wow. I'm really not sure if I like the silver one more. The black one, this too, looks really, really nice. Very nice solid build. Again, doesn't attract any fingerprint or smudges. The buttons on the side look so cool. The black strap is really, really nice. Stainless steel and of course, fireball branding. Open it up and here you can see the heart rate sensor, espirito sensor, charging terminals, the speaker. Again, this too can be replaced with the black silicon straps in case you want to use it for your workout and gymming. The watch comes with IP67 rating, so it can be worn at the gym, for a run, in fact even for a swim and it has tons of swim tracking on board. In that case, you can switch these steel bands with these silicon straps, which I'm sure will also be more comfortable. So let's have a closer look at the display. Now this is a 1.43 inch AMOLED display with a resolution of 460 by 460 pixels. Now that's a super high resolution display, colors are super vibrant and blacks are perfect and deep. Now I know a lot of you want to know about the bezels, well you can see here they're quite slim, they're not invisible like some other watches that you've seen from Firebolt but yes they're a little more noticeable I think something like this will give you a better idea. By the way you can change watch faces by just rotating this crown, check this out, there you go. Now if you look closely the bezel is there but very 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 slim. And the good thing is you can keep changing watch faces and unlike other watch faces that just come with 4 or 5 pre-installed, here there are countless watch faces 
right on the watch itself. You don't even need to reach out to your phone app. Check this out. Wow. I love analog watch faces on round dials. They look so good. Check these out. So you can immediately keep changing directly from here. The display is super amazing. By the way, the display comes with over 600 nits of peak brightness. We tested it briefly outdoors and you can see it's clearly visible, which is really, really good. Now coming to the interface, yes, you can roll the dial and change the watch faces. You press the top button to access the menu and here you have steps taken, heart rate, blood oxygen, blood pressure, sleep tracking, sports modes, sports history, music, weather, dial pad is for phone calling, contacts, recent calls, messages, AI voice assistant, calculator on board, breathe app, there's also games and there are actually so many games, 2048 and of course there's so many but always remember playing games on the watch will definitely drain your battery life a lot quicker. Then further you have alarm clocks, timer, then there's find device, camera and settings. In settings you have display settings, you can change the clock watch faces from here. Then you have screen off time that you can choose 30 seconds, 20 seconds, 45 seconds. Then you have always on mode. I know something that a lot of people really love. So always on settings, you can turn it off. You can turn it on for five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, or always. We'll just keep it always. And here you can choose all day or you can actually schedule it as well. And that's the always on mode. You can see for a digital clock, if you want analog clocks, what you're going to do is go into settings, come into display, come into idle clock. And here you can choose a analog clock, this, this, and here's another digital clock. So there are a couple of options here. Meanwhile, this is how an analog watch face will look in always on mode. Then you can set time, you can set the vibration strength, brightness level, view mode of the menu can be changed from list mode, grid mode, cellular mode, my god, chessboard mode, there are so many here. You can set language, do not disturb, power saver mode, you can lock the screen, USB mode where you can use this as a mass storage or you can use this to charge the watch. We'll come to that in just a moment. If you swipe from up, you can access the quick menu. You have the QR code for the app. You can adjust the brightness from here. Then you have the settings, battery saving mode, do not disturb. Then you have raised the wrist to wake the display toggle, swipe right, you have Bluetooth calling. You can change the menu style, more info, volume of the ringer. You can change the vibration. And the best part is that the menu is so smooth. Check that out. I think Firebolt has totally nailed it when it comes to the interface. It's so smooth. The watch comes with 4 GB built-in storage where you can save over 300 songs. It's very handy when you want to go for a workout and don't want to carry your phone with you for music. In local mode, you'll find the music that comes pre-installed on this watch. Simply click play and the music starts playing. You can also connect your TWS earphones. Go to TWS modes, take your Bluetooth earphones, put them in pairing mode and click search. There you go, OnePlus Buds 2 Pro. Click and it's connected. Now enjoy music on these earphones. But how do you copy music to the watch? We'll connect your charging cable to the watch, plug in the USB side of the cable to the laptop or PC, then a drive will be detected. Simply drag and drop the MP3 files to the drive. The process is really quick. Now when you go to the watch on the music app, you can play the music that you've copied and you can hear it from the watch speaker or even from the Bluetooth earphones. All your choice. Amazing. Time to check out Bluetooth calling. So we get our phone in the frame so that you can see. We go to the phone calling app. You can see recent contacts and dial pad. We go to dial pad and we're just randomly dialing a number. And there you can see the phone is being dialed. The audio hearing is from the watch speaker. See how clear and loud it is. Right now you have an option only to cancel this call. And similarly, you also receive incoming calls. There's a ringtone which is on the watch. There's a vibration alert. You can see the caller's name. You can mute the incoming call. You can answer the call, reject the call. Now, as you answer the call, you can actually talk using your smartwatch, which is really, really convenient. Of course, you can mute the mic as well and you can end the call directly from here. Talking about call quality. Well, the speaker is loud and clear, but best used indoors. When used outdoors, you probably will struggle to hear the other person. The opposite person didn't complain of any disturbance or echo, so I can say that the mics do a really good job. Bottom line, great for indoor calls, but stick to quick shot calls when outdoors. So let's talk about the fit and comfort. So when I wore the watch, I realized it's a little big for my wrist. Sadly, no tool is provided like the previous watches to adjust the length. So you'll have to visit the watch technician to set the right size if needed. Now, even though it's metal, it's not as heavy as it looks. Also, I really like the feel of it. 
just like a premium watch. Coming to health tracking. Well, we tested the heart rate sensor first, then the SpO2 sensor, and finally blood pressure. We got the readings for all, but always remember these are smartwatches, and even though dependable, use the readings just for your reference and not for medical purposes. The Invincible Plus comes with over 300 plus workout modes. To simply access it, press the lower button here and you'll get into sports modes. You're running, hiking, riding, basketball, skipping, climbing, badminton, ping pong, football, yoga. Then there are 126 items in fitness, indoor running, machine running, indoor walking, stepping. Of course, I can't read all of them, but trust me, it has more than I'm sure you're going to need. And then further you have casual, then you have ball workouts, then you have water workouts from sailing, surfing, rafting, kayaking, rowing, dragon boat, ice, skiing, snowboarding, motorboat. My God, look at that. Can you even imagine all these even exist? Oh my God. Everything that you want is here. Coming to the battery. Well, Firebolt hasn't mentioned about the battery anywhere, but they claim it will last for about five to seven days. However, with Bluetooth calling and always on mode, expect a maximum of one to two days. Let's have a quick look at the FB Invincible Plus app. So right here on the homepage, you can see today's health related data, the steps taken, sports records, calories burnt, heart rate, blood oxygen levels, sleep tracking, blood pressure monitoring. In the second option in sports, you can use your phone's GPS to track your outdoor workouts more accurately, which is a really helpful feature. You can use it for outdoor running, indoor running, walking, riding. So that also is very, very helpful. Then the third option is devices where you can see the Firebolt 07, you can see the battery percentage, you can do the alarm settings, set the alarms, sedimentary reminders, drink water reminders, do not disturb mode, unit settings, screen saver time, push notifications, you can choose from which apps you want notifications and from which apps you don't. Further, you can turn your wrist to brighten your display, which is the raise the wrist to wake the display. Then you have photographs, which is basically camera shutter, find the watch, reset, firmware upgrade. And the last obviously is profiles where you can set your targets, customer feedback about your daily workout. And that's it. Now, I really wish it had some option where you can share data with Strava or Google Fit, but sadly, this app doesn't support. But at least the good thing is you can use the GPS of this app for your outdoor workouts, which is a great feature to have. All right, final thoughts. Well, the Invincible Plus nails it in almost every department. Gorgeous looks, stellar design and amazing display. In fact, you can even use your phone's GPS for more accurate outdoor workout tracking. However, the app doesn't support data sharing like Strava or Google Fit, which probably is its only con. Rest is all smooth sailing. Easily recommended. You can buy these with the silicon strap for 3999 and steel straps like the black and white for 4499 Also, the silicon straps will be clubbed along if you buy the steel variant. By the way, remember, the price that I mentioned is only introductory and only on sale date 15th of March. After that, the price will be 5999 So grab it right away. I leave the links below in the description. If you like to buy one, you should definitely check it out. So I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.